I keep trying to just think of something else, but my brain won't stop observing strange patterns. The FBI's apparently discovered the true cause of the plague of organised retail theft sweeping big cities across America. Well-dressed, middle-class white women. Impressive stock photo. Now let's see the crime stats. The FBI's own website suggests there might be something else fueling it. Uh as as the looting continues the seems like the federal agency has been sourcing all its stock photos of shoplifters from google images <laughs> Many people are noticing not just a change in social cohesion and demographics, but a rapid decline of the immediate environment that surrounds them. Look at this, what they've done here to smarten up the streets of abandoned buildings. Over there you can see that house obviously abandoned, number 66. And here's abandoned too, and I thought actually it was some blinds and a window, but it's not, it's a picture of blinds and a window. And look at this, it's not a real door, it's a picture. Of a door. One of the defining characteristics of a third world shithole is the environment being desecrated by litter everywhere. Let's take a quick trip to Birmingham. Look at it. Don't they collect rubbish in this city? <laughs> Original Smirnoff. I guess just throwing your litter out the back of your house slum style is part and parcel of cultural enrichment. For everything here. Yes, everything you will get. Nice. And you will find a nice view at the back as well. Can I have a look? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, he said there's a lovely view at the back of the hotel. Well, this is the view at the back of the hotel that Ben's booked us into. He said a lovely view. And look, it's a view of um, a rubbish dump and some squalid houses. It really is one of Birmingham's most distinctive features. I think this is the worst place I've been in the UK so far. This is minging. Look at this. Look at the state of this. I hope my camera does this justice, but this goes on all the way down to the other end, look. Still, at least there's the vibrant high street cuisine. How to put it delicately, it doesn't feel very British, let's put it that way. I mean, you've got your music blaring over here from, I don't know, maybe some... Hello, what's up? Right, got it. You've got some Indian music playing here. You've got Bank of... India over there, Bank of Baroda. You've got Ganesh, bloody Sri Ganesh exclusives. Here's the same road in Birmingham, 70 years ago, and how it looks today. Aside from the mosque and a 1.6% white population, note the litter strewn streets so filthy there's trash on the floor right next to the bin. And while councils like in Birmingham seemingly don't have enough money to pick up the rubbish. Lovely. What a sight to be greeted by. There's plenty of resources at hand to decorate public spaces with bizarre dystopian race communist murals. Well, you got a lot change, really popped in. Oh, I might have. Let me have a look at my pocket. It's pretty clean, sir. What's it like living around here? Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> Can you believe I'm 40 years old? Where did all the years go? A horrifying thought, but not quite as horrifying as if I actually looked 40 years old. I was getting my hair cut the other day and the guy said late 20s. I'll take it. You want to know my secret? Well, it's not rocket science. It's called moisturising your face on a regular basis with a good product. Which brings me to Tej Hanley. No doubt, like me, you were constantly flipping between different skincare products. Different brands for different parts of your face. Well, simplify everything by using the Tej Hanley skincare system routine. Face wash in the morning. Wash. Really refreshing. Wakes up your face like a strong cup of coffee. Super serum. Boom. Locks in that good moisture. Eye cream. Wash. Totally smooth. Doesn't irritate. No sting whatsoever. AM moisturiser. Boom. Eliminates any tightness, dryness, and you get that SPF 20 layer of sun protection. Then repeat at night, but with the PM moisturizer Wash. to keep your skin hydrated as you sleep. Then exfoliate or scrub twice a week with the... Well, it's the scrub. Boom! Clears out all those clogged pores and dead skin cells. I've been using Tej Hanley for about three weeks now. And even in winter, when your skin suffers the most, it's been a delight. For what I was paying for just one moisturiser, I get all this with Tej Hanley for the same price. And it does a better job. My skin looks and feels better than ever. Don't take my word for it. Go and read over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website. Uncomplicated skincare that's simple, affordable, and effective. Fragrance-free, made in the USA, never tested on animals, and peace of mind knowing that you're not
not funding those big corporate brands that try to monopolise the industry. Get a monthly subscription, then you'll never have to worry about forgetting to order or running out. And by supporting my sponsors, you support your boy here. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring this video, if you click the link in the description below, you lucky devils get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. So don't miss out, click the link in the description. Now back to the video. Meanwhile, in England's capital city... How's London? Well, it used to look like this. It looks like this. Places don't change. Only people. Some people. Meanwhile, as the UK approaches the seventh anniversary of kids being blown up at a pop concert in Manchester because security guards didn't want to be called racist, the nation steadfastly maintains its preoccupation with the notion that people saying mean words is the worst thing in the world. The latest incarnation of which is Tory MP Paul Scully being attacked by the media and the political class for daring to say there are no-go areas in parts of Birmingham with large Muslim populations. The idea that Birmingham has a no-go zone is news to me, and I suspect the good people of Spark Hill. It really is time for those in Westminster to stop the nonsense slurs and experience the real world. I for one am proud to lead the most diverse place in Britain. You think there are no-go zones in Birmingham? What kind of racist Islamophobe are you? Oh, I don't know. One who reads the Birmingham Mail, which literally reported that due to soaring crime being committed by urban youths, parts of the city centre are no-go zones, and the areas immediately surrounding Birmingham are no-go areas for the same reason. Mate! Any hotels around here? Huh? Any hotels around here? I don't understand what you mean. Are there any hotels around here? I don't know. New. I'm new. Where are you from? Fucking hell. No one has a lower opinion of white people than the far right who claim to be speaking in their interests. If you asked any white person on the street whether they value tolerance and diversity, nine times out of ten they'd say yes and look at you like you were nuts for asking. Diversity, oh yes, I love it, nothing better, great food. He replied trying to hide the panic in his voice hoping he'd answered with enough enthusiasm to retain his bank account and Amazon warehouse job. Oh yes, citizens of a country that literally arrests people for questioning diversity, say they love diversity. What a resounding endorsement. Just like people in the USSR loved Stalinism. The strange observation that it feels safer expressing your love for Britain in Jakarta, Indonesia, than it does in Britain. <laughs> That 100 billion tax increase to pay for mass migration is also sure to fuel more support. But they assured me over and over it was a boon for our economy. Not to worry though, because the incoming Labour government has identified the real problem. It's Andrew Tate, again. <laughs> Labour want to train young male influencers to counter the negative impact of people like Andrew Tate. Me! The lamest, most effeminate and most neurotic police state in history. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.